I'm back. My name is Andrea Satyam Van Rubin. I uh, already recorded a six minute video clip for you and I hope that worked for you. Today I would like to introduce two other very ancient old meditation techniques that have helped me greatly that I highly uh, recommend you try out for yourself. And one is called Latihan and the other is called Gibberish. Latihan is a movement allowance in slow motion. It is uh, the breath moving the body uh, that allows you to follow that impulse of movement and you just surrender to that. So you are practicing surrender to what is in the moment while you're watching in slow motion that doingness and beingness is moving your body. And translate it into uh, becoming aware of what you do and how you do it. I use this also when I prepare food, when I do regular things. When I brush my hair, I stop myself in the moment and I um, basically become aware of uh, this very moment of time that holds me as long as the body holds me in it. And uh, it brings to the awareness also the fact that Basically, time does not exist and we move from one moment to the other. And uh, the space that is given to us in the body that holds us is uh, momentarily always moving from one moment to the other. So it definitely brings up uh, the knowingness, the being aware of the ending of time for the body at one point. And uh, this is what it's about in this time of COVID-19, where our um, fragility of being in the body uh, that calls for us to be present in it uh, gives us this absolute endlessness. And I look at this as like, as if this is my last moment. So Latihan, is for me some technique, some method to become aware of my being here now. And this is what it looks like. You allow your eyes to see, you allow is to hear everything you do deserves your attention and your moment that's what it looks like and the other is gibberish and gibberish is also ancient old and is used in many different cultures from what I understand or ancient times. And it is a letting out and sharing and giving back to existence an expression of how you experience your reality in that very moment. So it is giving expression to your emotional body, it's giving expression to your uh, babbling of the mind. I call it emptying my mind and emptying my 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 heart and emptying my, uh, you know, I am so important idea. <laughs> and I just let existence have, have it without having to make sense or without needing an audience to uh, comment on it or without any other reference than just sharing and being in tune with by just allowing it to come through. And in my real tenacity and interest to pass something on that might work for you as well. This is what it would look like in uh, gibberish. Kanamata sanadaka ya kumata ikarasa inalami karasa. And when I have angry feelings or other feelings, then sometimes I stomp around the room or I let it out in anger 
is like a shun da 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 like that kind of uh, you know expression. So I'm. It's just about being generous, not having a filter necessarily, because you. Your, your relationship to existence is in the flow and you just let yourself be alive. And with that, of course, always a minute or two in silence afterwards is very helpful. It's just six minutes. Thanks for listening. <laughs>